world's largest urban conglomeration, the National Capital Region of India, has witnessed an exponential growth both in terms of economy and geography. Expectedly, the population too has grown quickly. This multifold expansion in population has also paved the way for a rapid accumulation of land and river pollution. Yamuna, the largest tributary of India's most pious river Ganga, not just appears stagnant but rotten due to the colossal amount of dirt, dust and untreated filth that have fallen directly into the river. National Mission for Clean Ganga through its Namami Gange project aims to clean it. If you look at it, the flow of Emuna where the Chambal joins, it is very bad because there is a lot of pollution coming into the sector and it gets a lot purified only after the Chambal joins and then that water goes and meets at uh, the Ganga. So the most difficult part or the most polluted stretch of uh, uh, river Emuna is in the 22 kilometer in the uh, uh, in Delhi area, which do not see any flow because it's basically a stagnant water and because there's no water addition coming into it. A nearly 22 kilometer stretch of Yamuna has been identified and the authorities are on mission mode to stop sewage flow into the river. The National Mission for Clean Ganga has initiated setting up of sewage treatment plants across the city. The one of the biggest STPs, Coronation Pillar Sewage Treatment Plant in Delhi was recently visited by senior officials from the National Mission for Clean Ganga to take stock of the ongoing construction work. This STP will treat 318 MLD of waste water at an estimated cost of Rs 515 crore out of which 414 crore is the capital cost. The 50% of the capital cost is borne by National Mission for Clean Ganga. We are now trying to focus on uh, getting this Emuna water in the clean. Because in Delhi, there are, in the, uh, there are about um, 18 nalas which flow into this 22 kilometer stretcher, which brings in a lot of water. Dirty water from um, Haryana comes in, dirty water comes in uh, from UP also, to, uh, it's coming in, <coughs> a lot of water from Delhi stretch also comes in. So we are, uh, see the total sewage generated inside Delhi is about uh, 3200 MLD out of which the capacity of to treat is about 2600. We have about uh, 24 MLD, uh, 24 STPs, which have a capacity to treat about 2600 MLD. There's a gap of about 650 MLD to be treated. So that has to be addressed. So what uh, we have done is uh, in the last uh, couple of years, uh, in the, when the, after the Namami Ginga has uh, formed, we have uh, sanctioned about 23 projects in the uh, Emuna sector for about uh, 4,200 4, crores. To, to look after the issues of uh, the pollution in the uh, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, uh, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh sector, so that the entire stretch of uh, Amuna is cleaned up. Delhi presently generates an estimated sewage flow of 3,273 MLD, out of which 2,340 MLD sewage is treated against the installed capacity of 2,624 MLD. There is a discharge of 933 MLD untreated sewage into the river Yamuna. A total of 12 projects for the treatment of 1,385 MLD sewage have been taken up at a cost of Rs 2,354 crore under the Namami Gange program in Delhi to abate the pollution in river Yamuna. The government's sincere efforts by restricting the flow of urban sewage and industrial effluents from the city will keep Yamuna clean. That will be a big uh, uh, relief, 310 uh, million litres per day of water would be, treated water only will be put into you know, that, and it, it, it also prevents that much uh, water from, dirty water from, from flowing into, uh, into Emna. that's very important. The government's comprehensive plan also involves modernising and regulating Dobi guards, which the authorities say have proven dangerous to both the sanctity and purity of the river. The NMCG, in collaboration with the Delhi government, is also building decentralized STPs in parks of Delhi. The government says a holistic approach is what is required to treat the capital sewage and this is going to be the fundamental level approach that will reward it with tangible results in the long run. <laughs>